Welcome back, folks, to the Ottoman Campaign. This is Perry here, along with his good friend, Keb. Hello. As we continue our way through seeing exactly how little money two gigantic countries can make while they try to take over the world. Um, so without further ado, I welcome you back to my never-ending realm of debt, loans, and the occasional pirate seizing my goddamn, te my goddamn treasure barges. Do you like that event? I'd rather do my own dentistry. <laughs> Harry, what are you doing today? I'm pulling out my wisdom tooth. Feather than the damn... Anyways. <laughs> Make Ming great again. But anyways. I have heard of dentists that have done their own work. Can't quite understand how they can, can stand it. But yeah. Musicians should do their own work. Chefs should do their own work. Dentists should not do their own work. Ah, uh, good lord. Alright. War with Oirat it is. Enjoy. Uh, Korea started the damn thing. So... Mamluks allied with Ajuran. You know that the one country you didn't want to play? Don't you know, I don't know. Yeah, Vowel Land. <laughs> Ajuran declared war on Malindi, right next to them. Different. And of course, the Mamluks can't come and help them. Different. And meanwhile, England is sieging up all of Castile. Increase tech cost for 10 years. Yuck. Um, well, I'll take it. How big of an army am I dealing with with oil? Oh, only 28,000. Just keep off the flatlands. I don't have a choice. Only so much I can do. Damn it, they've matched me tech-wise. So, after I burn all bridges with Hedjas, they lost territory and can, could now be vassalized again. Just as, mu <laughs> just as nature intended. And the Protestant Reformation hit. And oddly enough, the Teutons are still alive. Different. They got, they got, the, the first, they got hit with it. So now they're in... Oh my goodness. That could be rather ugly for Lithuania. Their religious unity will plummet now. Then again, they have humanist ideas. No. Yeah. We'll see. As for me, it's time to head into Egypt again. Egypt? Craziness is this. I need you to go exploring again. Explore. <laughs> you can just sit there and molder. My only option for that, my navigation fleet is circumnavigation. And yeah, that won't happen for a while. Ah, uh, sure. Primarily for lack of the tech. In Nepal has civil war. You don't save half the pro half the provinces are occupied by peasant rebel uh, rebels. That'll do it. Do it. Korea, I deeply, truly wish for you to know that your troops should come over here and help just in case. 
No, no, they'll, they'll, you do all the fighting. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, that's right. I forgot about fortresses flipping provinces back. Actually, it appears that the people that they were at war with, the primary target is regrouping their army inside or back in their territory, so. Or they're just going to th keep throwing him at one of my provinces. This war is going far better than the previous ones. That's good. I will just stack wipe the Mamluken army. And I stack wipe the, the Iraqi army as well. Well, that's not been a, that big an achievement for a very long time. And Klemkin is busy fighting Portugal, so. And there are Greek separatists in Genoa. Interesting. Well, they'd probably join Naxos. What happened? Oh, I just wanted wanted an army to go from the province it's in to the adjacent province, and it's like a fourteen province journey for them to make make the trip. It's on control, I assume. Yeah. Oh, good. The Koreans are actually going to crush that uh, that uh, army at besieging my one fort. Oh, you mean they're actually helping you? Yep. Well, they just sacked the capital of the country in, in question, and now they're attacking the country, that country's army, which I'm perfectly happy with. That, the country of Heiji, or Heiji or whatever had a 3-3-2-1 general leading their army. I wasn't in the mood to fight that. <laughs> What's a little manpower loss, huh? Something other than the big amount of manpower loss I would have suffered there. Mongolia occupied. Have you remembered to put the territory as provinces of, provinces of interest? Probably Just should. So they might actually give you a little land. How do we do that again? Uh, diplomacy and um, oh, and the diplomatic feedback. <clears throat> F1 oh. and 2, and then switch to the uh, diplomatic feedback tab. Diplomatic feed. Ah. 
As long as they haven't marked the provinces of, as interest to themselves, you should be able to mark it as interest to you. I don't see where, it's, where I get the option. I'm obviously missing something. You have to do it on their country, I think. Yeah. Oh, let's see. You're not allowed to set any provinces of interest? I'm not finding how to do it, no. Shortcuts. F1. Then 2. And in that menu. F1. 2. And D is the shortcut for the feedback. Yeah, I'm on there. Okay, and no provinces of interest listed? Or rather, do you have your own country? Uh, is it the own country? There, there we go. I've got to, I've got to select the country. I've got to be having my country. There we go. You know, what was throwing me off there as I was trying to click it with the other country selected. True dive yet, you can come through. So yeah, England ate a pretty big chunk of Aragon. That just sounds so weird. And... Oh, blast it. Clemkenny army decided to show off over, over here instead. Why? Why, why, why? Dude, I'm... routed my, my army. I'm trying to figure out where the Oiran army was. Actually, getting a little concerned about it. Well, they're probably doing a naval landing on Taiwan. Why are at? Yeah, why not? I've seen worse. I think I would think the glorious lack of ships would have a lot. Part of it, finally. I like that you can now directly reassign generals from one army to another. Yeah, but... <laughs> Still a bit tricky because you can't. Uh, you have to be in your own controlled territory, right? Well, yeah, but um, nice to not have to go click in an army that's in a controlled territory to, to remove the army, the general from command, then go back to another one of your armies in your territory and put him in charge. Now, your army that's in your territory, you can click on it and pull him off of an army, even if it's in hostile territory. Put him in charge of the, your new.
Not too bad. So, I'm thinking... Maybe I should try to ally France. Actually, they, they don't accept my lines right now. Who are at war? Oriwet finally views me as an as an enemy. Ooh, I got a victory card. Congratulations. My victory card is still Transylvania, and I'm not sure I want to move that direction yet just yet. Animal. Stupid Austria. What am I doing? Go there. There. We have a new per friend to play with. Oh, yeah. New friend. Mm. Yep. Well, that be which friend? Long Yang. Their alliance has been shattered. The constituent parts of it scattered to the wind. I've claimed most of their territory. Sounds like an unsafe time for them, then. And I have four armies over there to play with them. Although I really should start probably building artillery. At least build one cannon so you can get the siege bonus. Shouldn't I build as many as I have infantry? Just to balance it out. Yeah, if you can afford it, but that's a lot of money. I think I don't have any loans or sinking tax barges. <laughs> Knight just accepted vassalization. Yay! So now I, now I have four vassals. Ooh, I just got three provinces out of that war. And Korea now owes me 12 favors. That's now my uh, rival. And my war with the Mamluks took pretty much all of North Africa, all of the Mediterranean coast. Okay. So now maybe I can actually, yeah. Now Tunis is actually within within their range. Maybe they will accept vassalization in time. Well, the f the four Manchuria nations are about to get reduced to just one. The rump state left behind by Korea nomming. About to get eaten by the uh, Manchurian state, Jianzhou. And yeah, I should probably.
Oh, they would have to tear down five. Balance my books. Let's see. I have to cut out actually half of my forts to balance my book. Yeah, probably should start tearing down a few of mine as well. I can always build them back later when I'm washing cash. Especially up here where I've got a double fort. Canton needs one. Keep in mind if you tear down forts, you want to tear down the ones that are in uh, mountainous uh, highland provinces, defensive provinces. I'm tearing down ones that are actually far removed from my borders. Yeah, but if you if you need to prioritize between terrain. It's much better to, to, to keep the ones that are on flatlands. So the AI will go and siege them, then it's easier for you to attack this ongoing siege. Yeah, no. No, I'm going to just stick with the... Uh, stick with what I'm sticking with. <laughs> then, shouldn't it only after I had torn down several... Oh, I lost 900 sales. 900? Yes. Harsh life on the ocean. Definitely a harsh life. I don't know how big a, how much of a gain you have, but that sounds like a uh, lot. Well, I have almost 6,000 sailors as my base. And I get about 50 a month. One slight problem with my war. Ethiopia decided to pounce on the Mamluks as well. Oh, they're trying to defend Vowel land. Well, it'll make my conquest of Egypt a bit harder. I want something to come out and conquer my goddamn loans. I mean, um. <laughs> Speaking of which, I just think I'll repay one of mine. I mean, I'm glad that you're fiscally responsible enough to repay your loan, <laughs> bastard. I mean,
Very convenient. I got got the. Uh, I got an event to reduce diplomatic annexation costs by 50%, just as I started annexing Theodora. Did you get it before or after? It doesn't matter, because um, as soon as the event happens, it, it applies to the cost. Oh, okay, good. It's not one of those ones that takes a snapshot. Oh, this country I'm at war with actually doesn't have any forts at all. I was about to prepare for a war with Ragusa. Unfortunately, they rivaled Castile. Uh, allied Castile. Ragusa still sounds like... <laughs> and the Ulema wants more land again. Oh, it's a wasteland. Okay. Yeah, they call it the wastelands when you control the areas around. Yeah, it's, I, I turned the option off. I thought it was a neat effect, and I think it is, actually. My mind is thrown for a loop. Uzbek declared war on the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Why are the Oompa Loompas independent of Oyarat? If I'd known that, I would have stayed up there and gobbled them. Oh well. Mong Kane country actually took out Bengal. Find that quite impressive. And Muscovy seems to have solid solidified again. You solid Muscovy. And they've allied Austria as well. Oh my. Okay, so Austria is now allied to Muscovy and England. But other than that, it's feeling pretty good. Just trying to, if I attacked. Um. I like that left of Yarkand and the Uzbeks are formed an alliance. The Uzbeks are also allied with the Tins. And it's once again that time. Okay then. Well then, I guess we'll have to take a break here and yep. see you again in the next episode. Yep, well, next episode we'll find out if Mong Yang will die to the Mings and if the Ottomans can finally find love. <laughs> have fun, folks, and we'll see you when we see you. <laughs>